Okay, so these are the nine questions that I'd like you to try. Um, for the first ones, you've got the same denominator here. Um, so it's just a matter of comparing the numerator. For number two, you've got a mixed number and improper fraction, so you're going to need to convert that into an improper fraction. And then from here onwards, you're going to need to find a common denominator. Here it asks you to put it in ascending order. Ascending means from smallest to biggest. So on the first one here, question four, it's relatively straightforward, they're all ninths. For the second one, question five, you're going to need to change those fives into twentieths. Here you're going to need to put everything over 100, and then from here onwards I'd like you to work out what's the common denominator that you should use for the denominators you've got in those fractions. Pause the video now and then see if you can um, attempt all those questions. Well done. Okay, so looking at the solutions to this. 5 is bigger than 3, so 5 sevenths is the bigger fraction. Here, if I do 1 times 4 add 3, it gives me 7 out of 4. 7 out of 4 is bigger than 5 out of 4. And here, if I change these two both out of 26, I need to times that by 2 to give me 26. So I need to times that by 2, which would give me 22 out of 26. And we can say that those two fractions are equal. Putting these in the correct order, the smallest here is um, 1 out of 9, then 2 out of 9, then 5 out of 9 then 8 out of 9. Looking at the next one, I'm going to convert those which aren't in 20ths to out of 20, so I need to times that by 4, which would give me 12 out of 20. 12 out of 20, 13 out of 20, times this by 4, so times that by 4 to give me 8 out of 20, and I've got 9 out of 20. So the smallest is 8 out of 20, followed by 9 out of 20, followed by 12 out of 20, or 3 fifths, followed by 13 out of 20. Here, my lowest common denominator is going to be 100. All of these, 50 goes into 100, 10 goes into 100. So times that by 2, which give me 6 out of 100. 7 out of 100, times it by 10, to give me 10 out of 100. And here, what I could do is halve that, and that would give me 4.5 out of 100. Actually, it's probably better in this case to put everything out of 200, but we should see that the smallest is 9 out of 200, 4.5, followed by 6, followed by 7, followed by 10. For the next one, 40 is the largest denominator. 10 goes into 40, 5 goes into 40, 20 goes into 40. So we're going to put everything out of 40, which is going to give me 26 out of 40, times this by 8 to give me 32 out of 40, times this by 4 to give me 28 out of 40, and I've got 23 out of 40. So 23 is going to be the smallest, followed by 26, followed by 28, followed by 32. Here it gets a bit more difficult. So 6 is the biggest denominator there, but 4 doesn't go into 6. So let's go up in our 6 times table. So my next number in my 6 times table is 12. 4 and 3 both go into 12, so I'm going to put everything out of 12. Times by 3 gives me 9. Times by 4 gives me 8. Times by 2 gives me 10. Times by 4 gives me 4. So the smallest is going to be 1 third, followed by 2 thirds, followed by 3 quarters, followed by 5 sixths. Last one. 40 is my biggest denominator. 15 doesn't go into 40. So go up 80, 15 doesn't go into 40. The first number that everything goes into is 120. <laughs> 40 into 120, I would need to times by 3. 27 times by 3 is 81. 5 into 120 is times by 24. 3 times 24 gives me 72. 8 into 120 is times by 15. 5 times 15 is 75. And 15 into 120 is times 8. 6 times 8 is 48. So the smallest number is 6 out of 15, followed by 3 fifths, followed by 5 eighths, followed by 27 out of 40. Okay, can you just pause the video there, mark your work, 
and then give yourself a score please out of 9. If you need any more assistance on this topic, please take a look at Hegarty clip number 60. Well done.